entire uh, complex ion so um, uh, so here you can see that this copper ion has bonded to six water molecules and specifically the oxygen atom in these molecules now i'll tell you why this happens so the thing is that the cu2 plus ion has vacant d orbitals which means it can form bonds and the fact that it can form bonds uh, so what happens here is that these oxy all as you know oxygen has lone pairs of electrons so uh, let's make a water molecule uh, just to make this very simple uh, we have a water molecule h h and we have one lone pair over here we have one lone pair over here so these are lone pairs of electrons and this means that they are available they can form bonds so what happens is that each oxygen atom over here gives one lone pair uh, to form a uh, to the cent central copper ion each oxygen atom over here gives one lone pair to the central copper metal ion to form a coordinate bond with it so as you know a coordinate bond is a bond in which one atom provides both the electrons for the formation of a covalent bond it is a coordinate bond is also known as a dative covalent bond and we represent this as an uh, this like an arrow so we have an arrow over here we have an arrow over here we have an arrow over here we don't have to make these arrows when we make the structure this is just for your uh, understanding so do not uh, make these arrows in the exam please do not make these arrows in the exam so each oxygen atom has donated one lone pair of electrons to the copper 2 plus ion and has and has bonded to it through coordinate bonds so these are coordinate bonds and i will ex be explaining the shape to you they are not right now you just need to remember that these are coordinate bonds and uh, this entire ion is called the complex ion and these h2o molecules that have donated a lone pair to the central metal ion to form a coordinate bond with it are called ligands ligands so these are ligands and this entire thing is a complex is a complex ion just remember that remember how to make a structure you have to use these square brackets you have to use 2 plus and um, then you'll be good to go so moving on uh, i'll be, I, i'll be giving you more examples of uh, complex ions and ligands so just wait for a while uh, till then let's just um, we till then let's move further and uh, look at the exact definitions of ligands and complex ions so uh, just remember these definitions as i said ligands uh, a ligand is a species with lone pairs of electrons it can donate these lone pairs to a transition metal ion forming coordinate bonds with it write the exact definition you will get the marks monodentic ligand each molecule of the species donates one lone pair of electrons to the central metal ion so uh, as we saw so a monodentate ligand is basically so as we saw in this case uh, th uh, this oxygen atom has two lone pairs but each molecule of this h each each h2o molecule donated only one lone pair to the central metal ion so h2o is a monodentate ligand and h2o always only donates one lone pair just remember that it does not donate its second lone pair it only donates one lone pair of electrons to the central metal ion to form coordinate bonds with it each molecule so it's a monodentate ligand because each molecule has donated only one lone pair of electrons and uh, bidentate ligand so each molecule of the species donates two lone pairs of electrons to the central metal ion so let me exemplify i have a metal x uh, just a sec um i have a metal x so uh, this this is not the uh, this is not the name of this is not the symbol of any metal so don't get confused i'm just uh, taking a random metal x so uh yeah we have the square brackets it we can give it a charge of plus 2 as well um so for example we have a molecule which is h2n ch2 ch2 in h2 so this is a this is an amine uh, with two amine groups nh2 groups Uh, i can write, if i write the skeletal formula it is h2n and h2 so um these are my two ch2 groups h2n ch2 ch2 nh2 so 
uh, each of these nitrogen atoms have a lone pair of electrons okay so each of these nitrogen atoms have a lone pair of electrons so when when uh,